Hello, hi, welcome to our science lesson. Today, in our science lesson, we are going to see about gaseous exchange in humans. Let's start with what is meant by gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange refers to the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide between the air and the blood vessels of the lungs. Next, we move on to the structure of the respiratory system. See the picture. The upper part is called larynx or voice box and the tube-like structure is called trachea. And the trachea is been separated into two branches which is called bronchus and there is a bronchioles which is connected to the bronchus and there is a air sac which is situated at the end of bronchioles and there is a ribs and there is a intercostal muscles and there is a dome shaped part which is called diaphragm next we move on to the alveolus. Everyone knows that the alveolus is the gas exchange surface in humans. But do you know why? Because they have features such as large surface area, they have thin walls, they have good ventilation, they have good blood supply and they have moist surface. And you can see the picture. Here, the picture shows the gas exchange happens between the alveolus and the blood capillary where they exchange the oxygen and carbon dioxide between them by diffusion. Next, we move on to the ventilation. Ventilation or breathing involves movement of the ribs, intercostal muscles and diaphragm to move air into and out of the lungs. So, when we breathe in, we inhale and when we breathe out, we exhale. Next, we move on to the inhalation. What happens when you breathe in or inhale? See the picture? Let's start with the diaphragm. The diaphragm usually they contract and they pull downwards. And the ribcage they move up and outwards. And the internal intercostal muscle they relax and the external intercostal muscle they contract so next we move on to the exhalation exhalation what happens when you exhale or breathe out see the picture Let's start with the diaphragm. The diaphragm muscle, they relax and they pull upwards. And the ribcage moves downwards and inwards. And the internal intercostal muscle, they contract. And the external intercostal muscle, They relax. Next, we move on to the testing carbon dioxide in exhaled air. See the picture? This test conducted by using lime water. So take a lime water, take a straw and start blowing into the lime water. If the lime water change into 
milky cloudy it means there is a carbon dioxide in exhaled air next we move on to the testing of oxygen in exhaled air see the picture so the candle will burn for about 15 to 20 seconds in a large jar of an ordinary air but in, in exhaled air it will go out in 5 seconds which shows that exhaled air contains oxygen by minimum level next we move on to the functions of ciliated and cobbled cells see the picture so the mucous cells otherwise the cobbled cells they help to trap particles and dust and pathogens and the ciliated cells help to push it up and away from the lungs So hope you had understood my topic. Thank you.